we'll move on to the Bearbow women's competition now. We've got Helen Brown and Kim Doherty. And I mean, what we've got here is we've got two women that likely shoot alongside each other quite often, um, and sometimes it can—it's uh, not always uh, a good thing because we know exactly what to expect from our opponent. There's no element of surprise in there, and uh, we know exactly what they're going to shoot like. So these two shot to, together at the first national tour stage in the final, on the final stage. So it's a bit of a, we've got a bit of a rematch here. It's a nice arrow from Kim. That might be yeah. a seven, seven, but she needed an eight with yeah. that last one. So 23, Kim's got a really good group going on there. She's all she's all within the same area, so she just needs to uh, shift that over a little bit, and she should be she should be about right. It's always the first end jitters that um, get those out of the way and yeah. everything, you can let yourself clear then and then really focus on the shot. It's easy to get held up on the shot as well when there's nerves involved and you're not quite sure what to expect for the first time. It's, it's really easy to just sit there on the shot and not let it move. Um, it's just so important to clear your head and just go back to basics, go yeah. back to your shot process and keep the shot moving at all times. Kim Doherty will shoot first. And if you look at the bow, they are allowed some weights. That's that's about the only thing that they can add to the bow. Yes, yeah, so that'll um where they've got the weights there is about where you'd put your long rod. Um, and it just gives that extra bit of um, mass weight onto the bow. So there is something there for them to um, push against while they're uh, shooting the shot. Seven. 
that's 23-22 for Helen. So that's going to put her up another two set points, 4-0. 4-0. <clears throat> So 4-0 to Alan Brown. We could have another 6-0 finish here. And see if uh, if Kim can uh, bring it back and get a get a foot in the door. Yeah. Well, that's the beauty of the set system. It is, yeah. The archers really have a chance to come back, and and it, and it does allow that slight margin of error. Because sometimes, you know, like we saw yesterday, just because you win the sets, um, you might not necessarily have the overall accumulative higher score. Yeah. Um, well, we definitely saw that in one of the uh, the men's uh, uh, recurve matches yesterday. Yeah. Can't remember exactly which one it was, but uh, yeah, there was a good. Uh, I think eight points ahead on cumulative score, but lost the match. Yeah, so you, there are there are um, advantages and drawbacks to the set system. The advantages being that you can account for those little mistakes and still come back and win the match. Alternatively, you do get it where archers are successful with score, but unfortunately they 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 might not even win. Indeed. Just out at the bottom yes. there for uh, for Kim. Oh, she didn't look happy with that one. No, that's going to open the door mm. for Kim Doherty now. She really needs to take advantage right now of that, um, that arrow. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't do that. Uh, that looks like a nine. Yeah. Right, we're all square now. We essentially have a one-hour shoot off here. Yep. And that's a seven for Kim. So nine to win the match, six nil. And it's a and seven. Yep. Yeah. So Kim has opened the door back up. Yeah, so the score goes to 5-1. 21 apiece on that set. Uh, they're going to have a little look at that, uh, the eight with the star, but I, it looks to me, as we can see uh, <clears throat> on the target, we've got uh, a couple of target monitors. Yeah. And I don't think it's uh, close enough to the line to say that that's a nine. So I think it's going to be 5-1. We can see there the judge hasn't gone in with a magnifying glass. They've scored it straight away. So I think we have got the lower value there, which means that it is a tied set instead of um, two points for Kim. But it's fine. She's still she's kept herself in the kept herself in the match. So it's just a case of uh, building points up now. Yeah, you can come back for five one. We saw it yesterday. It can happen again. That's for sure. <laughs> I think Sarah Bettles came back from 5-1 down. And, uh, she did, yeah. She had a, she had a really good match. Um, and it just goes to show it really does make a difference. And um, mental game is so important. And it's so easy to sort of let, you get, let yourself get set back. Um, but it's overcoming that and, and really fighting for it and realising that every arrow counts and that it is more than possible to come back from a deficit. That's a good start. She'll be happy with that one. That's the first 10 we've seen in this women's final. Eight. Not bad. The pressure arrows are the first and the third, aren't they? Yeah, it's um, right. obviously it, it, well. <laughs> <laughs> it does it does knock the score down. Yeah, I mean, opening up is is really important because it it sets the tone mm. and it really puts the pressure on the opponent. Now, as soon as Kim shot that ten, Helen will have been thinking about it. Ooh, and we've got one out wide. It's called a three. 
it, it's definitely going to need a measure, I reckon. It's a close one. It's hard to tell when it's um, on the black line because you can't see the um, the difference between the two scoring zones. So that's 22 in total for Kim. So no matter what Helen does here, she can't take the set. <laughs> I mean, it was it's a nice a finish. <laughs> yeah, it's a sighting one, isn't it? When you've shot, uh, when you've shot that three. Yeah. And you've effectively thrown the set away. It's good to get that 10 just to get... Uh, yeah, just to get a bit of momentum going yeah. again and obviously just to get that bit of confidence inside. Of, um, because, like you say, after a three like that, it's very easy to let it get to you. Mm -hmm. um, but she didn't. She came back. She realised that she's probably done the mental math and realised that she couldn't win or even draw. Um, but it was important there just to set, keep the tone going because, it, you know, she'll... Um, Kim will go up first to shoot next, so she wants to realise that the last shot that she did was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Only Patrick Houston would step away. <laughs> Only Patrick. <laughs> so are we going to see the shoot-off? We, we could get another comeback here. Yeah. The momentum is definitely with uh, Kim Doherty. Yeah, she's, uh, she's definitely determined after... But sometimes you do need that little bit of a kick just to just to push it and to get that competitive side uh, flowing again. So final set. Let's see if uh, Kim can bring us to our first shoot off of the day. Yeah, it needs a win. Brown needs a win or a draw. It's a little bit shaky mm. there, but you know the pressure's on now, and she definitely will feel that. <laughs> Just on the left there. And another one low. Seven, it's still possible. Just a two-point lead for Brown. Doherty needs to put some pressure on with a good final arrow now. And does she just does. that. Wow. That was a brilliant finish. And it's an eight to win for Helen. Let's see if she can do it. A little bit of movement. And oh, she does it. She's done it. She got what she needed, yeah. exactly what she needed. Exactly what she needed. So <laughs> tied the scores at 23 apiece and wins 6-4. So pressure right to the very end there. You can see this means a lot, can't you? Yeah. It's the, you know, first Bebo champion. It's been really great to see these guys out today, sort of showcasing their sport and showing what they're capable of doing. And I think it'll be really good for next year as well. We'll probably get a lot more people wanting to enter the national tours, having seen uh, some of their uh, target mates yeah. um, competing here. And as it grows, we'll you know we'll move from two to four to exactly yeah and and, it, and at one point i could definitely see it being just like with our recurves and compounds where we've got the top eight in the country really fighting it out 
and um, I think that that progression will happen really naturally and, and, and I can see it happening really soon they're, they're definitely capable of so seen today these archers know what they're doing yeah so a round of applause for the winner Helen Brown close match in the end her club mate Kim Doherty came back strong she really made a work for it yeah <laughs> Very close match with every step within one point or five.